Good morning, everybody, and good morning, ladies. Just letting the girls out of the paddock. Just gone bang on five because we are quite far down the back of the farm here. There's always a couple of girls come for their scratches. A129. Absolutely beautiful cow. But she don't know what her production's like. She's a brilliantly friendly cow. <laughs> then I'll see you all up at the front. There's us awake, the neighbour there awake, big shit at the back here, 1,008 tails and cow farm there awake, our local townships awake. <laughs> yeah, so, right. So you like the cash here milking. A couple of the girls liking the salt here. Come on girls, up we go. Come on. Eat the salt, it's a good sign. Getting that extra minerals into them. Come on, girls, up up. The girls are in the shed. Good girls. Oh, we're going to start the water up. Uh. Gets a go wet in the yard. Perfect. Morning, Dan. How are we this morning? Uh, late. Late? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's only 20 to 6. About 10 minutes. Yeah, only 10 minutes. 10 minutes between friends. Oh, exactly. Just deciding to leave now. Going to the paddock. Bomb wash today. Hot air, hot alkali with a rinse cycle cold acid, rinse cycle following. So it's good, it's good. Got a little chilly here. Oh. Alright, let's get to it. Go lock the cows away and uh, get the irrigator going in number two. Beautiful. Great milking. Tanker will be here at 10 to, 10 to 8. And it's just gone half past 7. There he goes. Dirt Chewy on the back. Got little arrow here, my passenger. Right on. Let's roll. Good morning, Dirt Chewy. So we've got to go turn the irrigator around at number 7 this morning. Get it going in that paddock and um, find out, see what else we get up to today. Drop Chewy off, so Chewy's with us. So we're going to pull that back this way and uh, pull her over a post. Because she'll still have weight on her. We'll take the weight off her. Walk down the end here. Actually, might I clip it first? <laughs> this one's clips a bit stranger. Older fashioned ones. Clip that side and this side here. Clip her up. Pull her up here. Out of the way. Just like that. Beauty. The untie just to untie it, pulled her over here by hand. Now I'll just retie her back on. So I always wrap it around the post twice and push it right to the base. So you don't want it too far up up the post here because what she'll do is she'll put weight on her and because these aren't exactly newer posts and even newer posts will break because of the weight. I'm gonna do a good knot because I've actually done a knot here before and don't worry it come apart. 
Perfect. Pretty happy with that. So just pull her out nice and slow. You don't want to go too much of an angle because she'll tip over. And I moved the pipe out of the way so we didn't run it over. The last thing you want is those tyres there to put a nice nick in the, in the pipe. I'm just going to pull her over and pull her straight. And we'll take you to the end of the clay here. I don't want to go much further than the um, peak because the peak gets quite wet and leaves puddles. So you don't want to leave puddles. engaged we're just gonna go grab the um we're gonna pipe and hook her up now and yeah, that she'll be ready last thing we want to do is kink that hose because that hose once you kinked you basically got a nice hole in it you got to put a joiner in it so don't let it kink she'll be alright That's her hooked up again, ready to go. Like this little one, we call this one the helicopter. As jeep as does it get moving. These alarms go fast when. Huh. Yeah, let's go get another uh, one of those, I reckon. Because she broke, she looks like she's fallen off. Good spotting. Right, we'll go get another one of those. And she'll be ready to start up. Right, we'll just switch this hydrant over. And over there. Rah. Got my hose clamping. Spanner that I need. Nice, um, it's all hooked up. So Lucky Dad knew what size hoax clamp we needed. This is the size here. I had the one that was a bit too big. Just chuck it over there. There we go. Just rotates around and around. And slowly, thread comes out the end there. Pretty easy. I just gave that one over there a bit of a tighten as well. So stop it from uh, trying to fall off. And then we'll just got the grease gun as well. We'll give her a quick grease up so that um, it's just a few things a bit too sharp, if you know what I mean. Too a wee bit tighter on there this time by the looks of it. Perfect. All right, let's give her a grease up. Might give the wire a bit of a tighten and then we'll be away. Happy with this new nozzle, I tell you. Sheepers. Pull that, push it on, squeeze it in. Doesn't fall off either. Don't have to pick the right angle. Just perfect. All right, she's all greased up. All done. That. Let's see what we get up to today. Yeah. Irrigator should be going. Not going yet. Yeah, come out of it first. Forgot to switch this one over. So, <laughs> I was wondering why the irrigator wasn't going. Pretty easy. Unclip. Like that. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. back in over here look at the grass first that perfect 
I'm going to clip back through, make sure that's connected on there. Beauty. Now the irrigator should be home sweet. Just starting to move over there. There it goes. Just getting the sludge out of its line. Old crap that's been in the line for a bit. You just see it start to wind up. There she goes. I have full pace yet because that's just sludge. She's going. She's going. I just got back from breakfast. Look for breakfast up at Dad's up there. This place and uh, Mackenzie and Dallas went for a ride on their motorbikes with Jordan Tessa through the bush. If you have a look at MK and DJ Adventures, or MJ and DJ Adventures, that's Tessa's uh, Tessa and Jordan, my brother and his wife's YouTube channel they started with the kids. Then you'll see them riding their little bikes through the bush of New Zealand bush. Just in the middle of uh, she's editing those videos as you speak. So the um, plan is to give them a wash and then my dad's giving them a wash and then we'll take them in for a service. Right, Dad? All good? Yeah, no, they're busy. They're off somewhere else today. Yeah, that's right. Now, we're pretty quiet on the farm at the moment. Just the main jobs we've got at the moment are weeds, and we'll be shifting the cows today at midday. So it's going to be another hot day. And then from now until the rain comes, We'll be shifting the cows. It's meant to be hot every day. Highs of 28 degrees, pushing up possibly into the 30s. Summer's arrived. Kids in Dallas's little bikes. Two little bikes. Right. Take those, get their service, and by then we'll be back to shift the cows. So Dad's just head off. We just got back from doing the bikes. Dad shot down, set the paddock. I did a few things around here, just mainly greasing and equipment. Pretty, pretty quiet morning. Been quite nice. Um, I shifted the fence, so it's all ready to go. Just in the process of washing the vat, Dad's headed off. So he sent 4,537 litres today. Not too bad. Today is a bomb day. So we've got a nice, hot, alkali, hypo mixture here that's gonna go through it's, it sits in about 86 degrees, so that's where you want it before it goes through that. And that's nice temperature, it kills the majority of the bacteria and the bugs in it. And then what the chemical's for is take out those other bugs that aren't touched by the, um, by the chemical. Then we'll chuck through a cold water, followed by cold acid, and then another cold water rinse cycle just to finish it off. Then she'll be ready for milking tonight. And then after that, by the time that's all done, We'll probably just go get the cows in. I'm also, as we speak, emptying out the uh, pressure tank here. Because we need to empty out that pressure tank to um, allow us to keep it going properly and do, it does a better job of holding pressure. So that's all sorted. Shall we uh, finish up and go ship some cows? That's the last road cycle gone through. As the water runs out of there, that's the water finished running out of there. So what we'll do is we'll shut it down here. The pressure gauge. Come here. Tap. Shut off that tap. And uh, start the pump up. And turn the water on. And eventually, some slowly increase the pressure until we're at good pressure. That, shall we go get some cows? Shift them under some trees. We won't even call them, we'll just sit at the gate.
away here and you'll watch them come up. They know it's happening. They're coming. <laughs> They're full. Very full. Look at them. Them out there like little hippos we'll let them go first we'll go around check the drain spray any thistles and chip any others this one's out here good girls out of here because it's quite low it's very prone to a lot of willow weed should be alright, the willow weed looks like it's not too far away from drying off anyway. Shouldn't need spray. You can see we've removed the fence here. Not removed, but we removed that bottom wire. The girls are heading right up to the fence now. Fantastic. Just need to spray some of those brushes as well. Can't spray it with stuff we got this little tank. This, this little tank here is for weed spray. weeds in the paddock that I can see. Trucks looking good. Push these girls up and get to Malkin. Oh, uh oh. Gate's open at the front. Just here. Jeepers, girls. <laughs> Hello. Good girls. Oh, away you go. Come on, ladies. Hey, Carly. Good girl. Perfect. I'll go around. They might even make it back in the first row. Come on. Off we go, girls. Come on. Come on. As Dad, I was just talking to Dad, he said, and the cows go underneath the trees. It's about, it takes about an hour for them in the sun to heat back up again. So the vet says, so when they're in, out of the shade, in the shade and cool down, give them about an hour out in the heat before they'll heat back up again. There was a couple of cows standing out of the shade. Hey? Well, the heat of the day off. Yeah. That's right. Heat of the day will be gone. 140 last. Good girl. Oh, fair enough. She was bullying today, so I won. Good job. <laughs> We're going good. Come on, girls, push up, push up. Whoosh. Yep, they're starting to run because they got spooked by a rabbit there. Come on. Little rabbit spooked the cows. Come on. Hey, Jamie. Still quite cool with the touch there, Jamie. Not heating up yet. Come on. Hop. Hop. Come on. Bit of grass in the yard tonight. Come on, anyone. It's all right, 201. Come on. Come on. Hop. Push. Go, girls. Push, push. Come on. Good girls. Okay. A little bit spooked. They'll calm down. They'll calm down. Hey. 
Oh, who used you wouldn't? Yep, spook. Well, uh, spook from the rabbit, and then I turn the hose on. Of course, the hose spooks them too, because they're spooked already. Just open the gate here. Tell the girls to walk out this way. Got many left out here now. Come on, girls. Doing a bit, Rose. Dad's out there picking up the grass, because they're so close today. This afternoon they got grass there. Grass brought in on their feet and it blocks up the um, stir on the irrigator pump. Effluent pump. Come on! Hop! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on, Mackenzie! Come on, Mackenzie! Come on! You hopping behind them? I'm gonna push them up a bit more. Perfect. Thank you. All right, we'll see you in the morning. I'll have to go stack some more hay. Quite warm this afternoon. Bit of a breeze here. Nice sitting here in the shade. Just walking the cows down. Oh, well, have a good one. Steep land here. Sarah, if we're going to drive her, she's learning. By the end of it, she'll be an expert. Go, Rusty. Yep. Stacking away here. Bryce coming in the paddock down there. Good job. Yep, good. All right, Rusty. Hurry. Bryce is down there bringing the next unit. Team Hall here. We're missing three people. Uh, two people. Dobby and Jess. the last one he needed four trailers to finish off this one so we can get about 300 on four trailers that is really good awesome <laughs> there she is hey Sarah here he goes don't hit a post now he's out easy <laughs> that's us all loaded up done and dusted took out the 550. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Last trailer. Rolling in. Biggest one. Be a close fit, Rusty. Yep. It'll be good, bro. <laughs> yeah. It'll do the job. <laughs> well, we're packed to the rafters in here. Oh, come back. <sighs> right. Just build a base down there. Just go out one bale, about five across sort of thing. Put it on its side, but so you don't want the baling twine. Other way, Dougie. So yeah, so you go five wide, go six wide. Just in front of this hole here. How many we picks can you do? I'll come back this way, I'll stick it. Get it's it. It's good. Uh, one more. Oh. Put uh, put five across the top now. Long ways pointing out. Yeah. Just screaming orders at you fellas. Yeah. That's good. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Supervisor. Now just marry those. You have to marry one in sort of thing, or just pull it open. Yeah. Cool, and now it's only four bales left. Cool. Sure. Good work, everybody. I just got Bryce. <laughs> That's perfect. It looks nice, actually. Happy with that. Not too happy with the top, but you can't be helped. Welded in, building it out sort of thing. Perfect.